Yo, what's going on YouTube? Nassif here from Click, and today I'm going to be doing a quick, uh, I guess, camera review of the OnePlus 3T. Now, obviously you guys know I got the phone probably about a month and a bit ago. I've had it for a while, and obviously you guys also know I went to Turkey recently, and I used this, the OnePlus 3T, as my main camera along with, I took my tripod that I record with, and the, uh, the little octopus mini tripod that I have here. And the pictures and videos, guys, I was stunned. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen one, um, MKBHD's video recently. He posted one with the camera comparison between six phones, or five, five or six phones, and he didn't tell you which ones are which until the end. And guys, I was blown away at the fact that I chose the OnePlus 3T as my favorite pictures of the, uh, of the ones that he set up there, and the iPhone 7 Plus, obviously, it's up there. But better than the S8, better than the LG better than the uh, I guess there was one other phone that he had on there I don't remember which one it was but it was better than all of the other ones uh, and the OnePlus 3T I, I personally found had the best pictures out of all of those photos which is surprising because it's half the price or s sometimes even less than half the price of these phones so we'll get into it I mean, basically I'm just gonna show you some of the photos and whatnot that I took while I was in Turkey and believe it or not <laughs> you know, you might be blown away by some of the photos, the video quality, some of the 4K video, some of the 1080p 60 frames a second video. It's unreal. And, and sometimes, it, sometimes you look at the video and it's almost like it's fake. And I know it may not translate, it may not translate in uh, in video, but you know what? We'll see what I can do. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually just stitch the photos and videos into this video and kind of just talk over them. So uh, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just have. Uh, the photos that I'm talking about, I'll kind of just go through. We'll see. I'm, I mean, I'll, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But uh, I'll show, anyway, the photos and videos here. And maybe at the... You know what I'll do is I'll do it on camera. And then maybe at the end of the video, I'll have the actual photos and videos that I showed at the end. So you guys can see the full quality, uh, I guess, pictures. So we'll hop on over to the other camera here. Uh, I might have to bump the brightness down just a tad. Uh, so again, we'll start way down at the beginning of the trip. You guys see it took like 400-something pictures. Uh, so we got uh, we got ham in there. My um, uh, click click uh, mascot. We got the food. So this is the first place. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll scroll through. You guys can take a look and see. Um, okay, here here's one. This is at the top of the hotel. Nighttime photo, pitch black. And I know, or this is not top. No, this is on the ground, guys. This is without a tripod. Um, this photo came out actually really well. It's a little bit blurry, but that's because I was using manual manual mode on the camera, which is awesome. Um, again, we have the, I think this is time lapse, yeah. So this is a time lapse of, this is on top of my hotel roof here. Time lapse video, as you guys can see, not much really going on. I just wanted to play with it, and it looks cool. You can see the birds flying around, and the video quality was really, really good. This photo was taken, this was the moss that I could see from my, uh, from my hotel room. And, or not my room, my, my roof. And the photo is awesome. Now again, I don't really talk, I don't really care much about ISO and exposure and blah blah blah, this and that. All I care about is that when I take this photo and I snap it and I'm taking a look at it, does it look good? Does it please uh, my eyes when I walk? Wow, gosh, I've sent 30 photos there. Does it please my eye when I'm looking at it, when I take these photos? Um, and of course, guys, obviously, this video or these photos here turned out amazing. Now, you guys, these are mediocre. This is when I was just kind of quickly uh, snapping, taking pictures. Wait till we get to the ones where I started playing with the manual mode and I started playing with the focus. Okay, here's an example. So I think the next photo is with manual mode. So this is just a normal photo uh, taken with automatic mode. And then I hopped on over to the manual mode and... I don't know, for me personally, the colors are just, and I know this is in 4x3, I'm not sure why, um, but the colors, look at the sky, just look at the sky, look at the difference in color, the grass looks awesome, those plants there, the yellow plants, they look uh, beautiful, and it's, again, it's not to say that they don't look in the auto mode, but I don't know, for some reason, the manual mode just blows me away on this one, i to take a picture of that Nutella while we're there too, um, again, just more photos as we're walking around, so here, this is one at the top of my hotel, nighttime pitch black I had the tripod set up took a I think it was this is like a six or seven second uh, open shutter photo guys the quality is fantastic I mean I get you know there's pixels and it's blurry a little bit but you gotta remember that this is a smartphone camera taking photos at pitch black imagine going to your roof at nighttime and taking a photo with your camera what kind of photo would you get you get something really dark you wouldn't be able to see the mosque lit up like you can here it's awesome so this is kind of, uh, I think this is a lower exposure, or not exposure, lower uh, open shutter time. This is maybe three seconds. Turned out a little bit better. Some of the lights were a little bit blown up here, as you guys can see. So it looks really nice there. 
again just some more nighttime photos that I was playing around that's me shooting the vlog videos um, we have again another mosque here that this is uh, this right here was actually it's an underground water thing so um, these lights here and the one light up there were the only lights in the photo I'll show you a quick video so geez gosh it's killing me with the photos so this is what it looked like to the camera without manual mode without actually playing around with the settings and whatnot basically pitch black you can't see anything the people you barely see them I can't even see like there's no detail at all it's pretty much pitch black this is with a 30 second exposure guys look at the difference that is amazing and the thing is the quality is there too you can definitely pinch in you can definitely zoom in and this I think is lower I guess the the expose the uh, the open shutter time becomes lower as you go down the photos here so this was six seconds I think and this is maybe three seconds so I think this one looks the best to kind of to the to the human eye anyway shows what it actually looked like in real life so that's what it was like that I guess this is more blown up like the previous photo so and these are just pitch black photos of screwing around and we'll zoom ahead here uh, here this is inside the mosque guy the, the huge mosque that was there this is just a normal photo taken look at the detail on that it looks awesome guys I mean there's not much really more I can say again uh, don't tell don't uh, don't report me technically I don't think you're supposed to be taking photos but everyone else is doing it so who cares um, <clears throat> what else do we got here we have uh, this is the market blah 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 more vlog videos here I'll take show you guys a picture of the dinner I had one night beautiful I mean look at the colors it just looks like delicious <laughs> So I'll jump ahead. I mean, these are all the same photos here. I took this photo here, not this one, the plant. Take a look at the detail on the plants. This is with the manual mode, with the focus and whatnot. It picked up the front of that plant fantastic, and it blurred out the backgrounds almost perfectly. I mean, the, I think the red up here is a little bit too in focus for me up with these other plants here. But this flower here looks so beautiful, and honestly, I would use this as a wallpaper. And I, I think people would believe that it's an actual stock wallpaper. Like, you know, the high, high quality wallpapers that are taken or, you know, for, that come with the phone. I think people would believe that's, uh, that's what it is. So here's some more, I, I guess, uh, nighttime photos. That's uh, across the, the ocean there. That's a little bit of a poor photo. We get a bit more detail for this one. It's awesome. I mean, look at all the detail. This is like light getting captured from probably miles away. And it's just awesome. I mean, I love I, I love playing with the manual mode. I feel like I sound like a fanboy right now, but what can you do? Uh, more vlog video. Those vlog videos will be up later on in the future. Let me just, uh, you know what I'll do is I'll pop out. Just to save you guys a little bit of time here, we'll go over to some of the, uh, the balloon ride videos. Don't mind the noise, but this is its kind of video quality you're going to be getting from the OnePlus 3T. Uh, skip ahead a little bit. I think this is the 1080p one. Is it 1080p? No. So this is the 4K video quality. Again, again, it's 1080p display, and you guys are watching it through a camera, so you guys gotta keep in mind it may not, tra you know, kind of translate in video. But take my word for it, guys. It is awesome. So I'll show you maybe one more, two more photos. So that's uh, just a normal photo, auto mode, no uh, nothing playing around. The photo turned out beautiful. The balloons look awesome. I'm currently using this one, I believe, as my wallpaper because it just looks awesome. And uh, let's see what else we got. Here's some uh, more sunlight photos here. We got a little bit of light there. So, again, just the, the colors, the vibrancy, the, the way the colors just kind of pop out at you, uh, the way the camera takes these photos. This one is also, I believe, is my other wallpaper. So, guys, just, it. I mean, I'm not going to go on full fanboy mode. And, again, I don't, I'm not going to pretend like I know much about cameras and whatnot uh, because, I honestly, I don't really. Um, but, again, for me, my, my thing with cameras is as long as it takes a beautiful photo and video and I post it online and people are like wow that's awesome that's what makes me happy so here yeah, this is another just quick video I mean look at the detail this is us up in the air look at the detail on the ground there you can see the footprints the sand lines it is, I believe this one's in 4k if I'm not mistaken we'll take a look here yeah so that's in 4k I think we're not gonna watch the whole thing it's about a minute long I went crazy with the camera so again, guys, I went crazy with the camera out there, and just, again, no, this video went really long, and I showed you guys basically all the photos I took, but at the end of the day, the final consensus, consensus on this camera is that it's awesome. I mean, the photos that come out of it, again, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind that the price versus, you know, what you're getting on the phone. So, yeah, you know, you could say, oh, Galaxy S8 and whatever, blah, 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 has this camera. You're also paying $1,500 for it or whatever cost the damn phone is now. 
It's ridiculous. They're way overpriced, and the OnePlus 3T is half the price. As you can't compare a phone, th this phone is in its own league. It's in another league uh, in the sense that if you can't compare this to a thousand dollar phone because they're just not the same. Um, and the thing is, I feel like the OnePlus 3T is killing all the other Samsung phones in LG and HTC. And you know what? Hate what you want. Say what you want. Hate me if you want to. But you know what? Samsung needs to start taking some pages out of uh, you know OnePlus's book because if these guys are able to charge six hundred dollars and give you this high quality of a phone with the camera sensor and you know the videos that come out of it and just the overall experience you guys saw my review I love this phone it's my favorite Android phone to date and I've had basically every Android phone on the market since you know Android was a thing so you guys can imagine for me to say this is my favorite Android phone is you know what it, it, it's a huge statement I mean because there's so many phones out there the market is so flooded with Android um, this one is particular just it just kind of ticks off all the boxes I want the price is great which is the main thing I look at the build is great screens great again I don't want to turn this into a review of the phone camera review only gotta remember that but the camera is awesome guys you guys saw I'll throw some photos these they won't be the exact I'll take the best photos that I that I took and the best videos and I'll throw them in at the end of the video right now and uh, or I'll just have them play right now and then I'll just have my voice over top of that but um, yeah guys I mean the the camera video the camera the camera video the camera quality and the video quality of this phone is I'd say on par better than than the iPhone 7 plus the Galaxy S8 plus the Galaxy S8 Galaxy S7 Galaxy Note 7 which isn't around anymore LG G6 HTC 10 uh, if the HTC U Ultra is even a thing still I don't even know um, and obviously it blows out all of the other Chinese phones, you know, LETV, uh, Blue, uh, you know, all these other Chinese companies, it just blows them out of the water. OnePlus is the king of the Chinese phone market. Um, and I, I, I really do hope they continue on the trend later on uh, in the year when the OnePlus 5 comes out and these guys have, um, I guess, a Snapdragon 835 to throw in there. They might be putting 8 gigs of RAM in. Hopefully they go to a 2K display, but the thing is, then you lose the awesome battery life. So we'll see what they do. But again, I hope OnePlus continues the trend of awesome specs, high high end specs, low end cost, and uh, not do what Google did with the Pixel and the Nexus lineup. You know, the Nexus 5 was 400 bucks. You got flagship specs at the time, and then all of a sudden Nexus 6 comes, it's 700 dollars. Nexus uh, 6P comes, it's 800 dollars, and then the Pixel comes, and now it's a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. So the cost of the phones keeps going up. If OnePlus is able to keep the cost of the phone down while still offering the highest end specs, especially including the camera, and I know this kind of turned off into a rant. Uh, about the OnePlus, but uh, you know what is what it is. But the camera again, guys. All I can say at the end of the day, I know nothing about cameras. I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about cameras. I don't know anything about. I, you know what? When I was out there playing with manual mode, initially I had no idea what ISO, exposure, EV, this that, this that did. I played around with it. I know what they do now. But again, that's so minimal in terms of what cameras do nowadays, the DSLRs and whatnot. So. I'm not going to pretend like I know cameras and I'm not going to talk to you like I know cameras. I know nothing about cameras. But the main thing is, is if I'm buying a phone and it takes a great picture and I show it to someone, which I've shown these photos and videos to him, I've shown them to my family, friends, and they've all said they look beautiful. So for me to say that, and for these people to say that, and, and they obviously most people don't know what OnePlus is, they think it's, you know, high-end flagship phone. Um, you know what, it, it, what can you say? What can you say? What can you do when the photos and videos are so awesome on this phone so again this video went on for so long but again I just want to say OnePlus 3T your camera is awesome uh, and now I'm gonna go off and record some more videos so thanks guys so much for watching I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the trip I'll have the vlog videos out soon and uh, we'll go from there so anyways guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video I'm out peace <laughs>